What's going on guys, Landon Hubbard here, back with another race day vlog. It is Bobby Isaac Memorial Race Day here at Hickory Motor Speedway. We've got double duty tonight, uh, twin, thank you Seth, uh, not twins. We have double duty tonight, 50 laps in our limited late model, Covered Express Bumgarner Propane number 75, and 150 laps in our High Rock Vodka number 75, Oldsmobile late model stock car. So, going to be a lot of fun, going to take you guys with us. Hopefully uh, a pretty uneventful day up until the race time. So. Uh, we're getting through morning practice here, and uh, it's going to be a fun day. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video. So have a good day. RJ, so nice of you to show up three hours after the agreed-upon time. Don't start on me today. Three hours. Don't start on me. You said yesterday in the video that you'd be here at 9.30. What did my text message say this morning at 8 o'clock? Hello, Seth. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> RJ's on one this I was, morning. I was just looking at RJ's notes from last week, and they're so damn messed up. I can't even understand. I can't even look back and see what the tires do. Do not take that from him, RJ. What, what else is new? Somebody's thoughtful and brought me some damn coat. <laughs> well, that saves us from one argument today. Yeah, well. Blood tire. qualifying tech here about to qualify but there's 14 late models so they're going to start and park a few i'm sure to uh to Satra to get the national point still which is crazy um it's unfortunate that we only have 14 cars for bobby eyes memorial that sucks but uh still the bobby eyes memorial so big a big uh, marquee event here at hickory and i want to win both of them tonight so we're pretty good in the late model in practice everybody mocked up um we didn't we had our tires that we mocked up on several weeks and then we were second in the limited I uh, only ran one lap in final practice, so we're pretty good. We'll see what happens. Look at here, Jeep Matt. That's, uh, that's nice there. I forgot what these looked like. I haven't had one of these in about two and a half years. First one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Probably the first one the channel's ever seen. Oh, Lord. Say, comment, I was here. First poll. Oh, yeah, we're selling the poll in the limited and qualified third in the late model. So we got good cars in both. So it should be a lot of fun tonight. So uh, a fan in the stands gave me this. And it's an actual drawing. I think it's with marker or something, but it's really freaking cool. So thank you, Alex, for uh, for the artwork that's going to go in our podcast room. Very cool. Holy. Damn. Some octopuses. That's my little octopusy. Back from the beach. You look like you sat out there, soaked up the sun all week. Yep. And you brought back some octopussy. I brought back some octopussy, so... Was your wife okay with that? She is good with that. She approved of it. She approved of this one. <laughs> Brings them to green flag tonight. Counting the tumber, turn number one, two by two. Landon Huffman able to flex his muscle and get in front of the pack. Down in the turn number three now, Bryson Ruff and Jordan McGregor battling side by side for P2. Three wide for P2 on lap number one as Daniel Wolf thought about it. Tried to press the issue and then thought better of it. Three wide into turn number one back through the field for P6.
last time by, no doubt. And 30 has closed the gap. He's there on the bumper of the 75. 20 laps to go here at Hickory. And the sleep coming down. As they come up off a of turn two, he, he squiggles just a little bit. Jordan McGregor not able to get the front end drive off of that corner with that race car. But Bryson Ruff is there. Looks down to the inside of McGregor. Decides better of it in turn number four. As they now go around the lap car of Christopher Martin Jr. once again. Things are getting busy at Hickory Motor Speedway. It's rush hour as they come down the back straightaway. 75 now approaching lap traffic. As the 24 gives a little bit of a shove to the 30, he'll move him up the racetrack off of turn number four. And the 24 now to the inside of the 30. And the battle for second place is there in turn one. Side by side, Ruff versus McGregor. Ford versus Chevrolet as they come out of turn number two. Back down to turn number three with lap traffic and Landon Huffman ahead. Side by side, two by two. Who's going to blink first is Bryson. Ruff makes it three wide out of turn number two. They'll get around Bub Haney this time into turn number three. The battle for second still side by side. 24 car looking to the inside for the lead now on Landon Huffman. As they go down into turn number one, battling lap traffic. That's going to be a pick for Landon Huffman in the 75. The 24 is going to move him up the racetrack just a little bit. Come off of turn number four and the 24 is going to get slow. Now he's back battling with the 30 down in turn number three. It's the battle for second, side by side of turn number four. Just two laps to go, I'm sorry, six laps to go to settle it here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Business picking up at the front of the pack. It's a three-way race for the Bobby Isaac Trophy here. Bryson Ruff now trying to battle back to get P2 back, but did he use up all of his tires? Has Bryson Ruff got enough time? Does he have enough tire? We'll find out here in a lap and a half here at Hickory Motor Speedway as Landon Huffman makes his way through three and four to take the white flag. He'll take the white flag this time by and they'll stretch back out single file. It's Landon Huffman down into turn one with about two car lengths of a lead off the second turn over Bryson Ruff. Then there's about one car length back to the 30 of Jordan McGregor. Doesn't look like he's going to make it. Landon Huffman comes off turn number four. For the final time, here's your advanced auto parts checkered flag moment, Landon Huffman. Here's your winner here at the 47th running of the limited late models here at Hickory Motor Speedway for the Bobby Isaac Memorial. We were giving up at the end, but we held on. That was a good win for us. That that car's very first victory was a Bobby Isaac Memorial Limited race in 2011. So it's back where it started. Now we got 150 in the late mile. Tire conservation key, Kate Brown, Tyler Matthews, battling it out. Green flag here at Hickory. Two by two, side by side. These renegades of the bull ring tackling the .36 three-mile paved oval we call the birthplace of the NASCAR stars. Hickory Motor Speedway as they come through, still side by side to complete lap one. Quick train of late models on the Bobby Isaac Memorial barrel down into the first turn. It's the 15 of Tyler Matthews over the 23 of Kate Brown. Kate Brown is still there on the inside. The 75 of Landon Huffman looks to the inside, bumping on the 23 off of turn number four. The 75, Landon Huffman starting in row number two, trying to get up front. Somewhere he has struggled a little bit. He gets it in the back of Kate Brown. Moves him up the racetrack. It's three wide going down in the turn three. 
It's early in this race, but off of turn number four, they're already bumping and banging. The 75 moving the 23 up and away. And now he sets his eyes on the 15 of Tyler Matthews. 20, the 75 has the preferred line. He'll look to the inside off turn two, looking for the battle for the lead. Down into turn three, Landon Humphrey on the inside. The 15 of Tyler Matthews on his outside. Something no race fan has heard in over 20 years. Oldsmobile to the front. Oldsmobile Cutlass, that is, off of turn number two, now to the point. Bringing the number 12 of Austin McDaniel with him. And Connor Zillish coming down on the inside of Kane Brown as well to try to take over P3, but slides up the track. As these guys are working around lap traffic, you know, you wonder how hard guys are really pushing uh, what they've got going on. I didn't hope them come off a of turn number four this time. It'll be 100 laps remaining here in the 150 lap feature. That is the Bobby Isaac Memorial. through the east end of the racetrack off of turn number four. The 23 has finally hit the Jets. He's moving up towards the front. He'll look to get around the 75 of Landon Huffman with 78 laps to go. They'll come off of turn number two. The 23 onto the inside of the 75. Down through turns three and four there, door to door as they come off the fourth turn. Side by side, Chevrolet versus Oldsmobile for the lead in the 47th annual running by the Bobby Isaac Memorial. Side by side they'll go at a turn number two. Cade Brown trying to get past Landon Huffman to get back to the lead of, the, of this 150 lap feature here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Off of turn number four, he'll lead that lap that time by back down to the turn one. Welcome to the Hickory Dragway where it's still side by side as they come off of turn number four. It's the 23 on the preferred line. Say hello to Connor Hall in the 77. He's caught up to the leaders. Now there's a three-way battle for the front spot. Three-way battle as Connor Hall now on the inside of the high rod vodka number 75 trying to follow Cade Brown to the promised land to lead the Bobby Isaac Memorial here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Hall completes the pass now. Tyler Matthews looks to try to capitalize on the situation. Looks down the inside, gives him a little bump and run coming out of turn four. start even out front but man those couple of cars 15 uh 23 and 77 they just have incredible long run speed every week our short run speed's gotten a lot better i just don't know what we're missing to uh to be that much better but overall solid day both cars are in one piece we got a trophy and a uh, solid fourth place so gotta go drink some beer here a little bit of pockets and brews Yes, that race went 150 laps, caution free. But thank you guys for watching and you just seen me pick my ass. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.